Okay, so the policies in the local plan support um, business use. The site is identified for business. Um, policy 11 of the local plan requires development to accord with the characteristics of the conservation area and also policy 57 of the Highland Wide Local Development Plan allows development if it will not have an unacceptable impact on the natural environment, amenity or heritage resource. Um, policy 28 of that plan as well looks for sustainable development and states that development is acceptable if it demonstrates sensitive siting and high quality design. Again, policy 29, new development should make a positive contribution to the architectural and visual quality of the location and have regard to the historic pattern of development and landscape in the locality. As I stated before, these chalets have been redesigned in negotiation with ourselves. They're now built into the hillside, timber structures with seed and roofs, one and a half storey at the front, single storey to the rear. This minimises their height. Their footprints have also been reduced. We've got recessive finishes and it's hoped that the new development will blend into the treed hillside. It'll contrast with the hotel and be subservient to the main building. And we consider the design materials and location of the chalets um, and the manager's house preserve the setting of the category CS listed building, uh, Ben Willis Hotel, and it integrates into the wider conservation area. Uh, it uses sustainable materials. It's an interesting design, contrasts with the main building, and you know, it clearly is a subsequent development rather than anything that happened at the same time as the building itself uh, was developed. Adequate tree separation has now been achieved and the forestry officer is happy. And the buildings have been sited and designed to reduce the impact on adjacent residents being set down the slope. Uh, so the application is recommended for approval. Um, I would fully endorse everything the Conservation Officer has said in her response to the concerns of the Community Council. We have had a request from the developer for changes to conditions one and two, most of which um, I have declined, but we have asked um, for the amended wording which I've put to the clerk already to condition one to include a phrase that after um, the manager's house hereby approved shall remain ancillary to the main hotel building and shall be occupied only by hotel staff and their family members and then add in or in the event that it is not required by the hotel it may be leased out for a holiday let and then continue with the remainder of the condition. Okay, I would also, um, in the listed building consent recommendation, um, it states condition 13 for the hours of demolition, and that should actually be condition number 5, not 13. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, could I move on perhaps local members? Councillor Campbell. <coughs> In, well, um, after being on planning for 13 years, it's good to see that our planners are now appreciating modern, architect modern, modern architecture more than they used to. Um, that is not what the people of Strathpepper would, would say to me. They're very proud of the Victorian village, but um, I suppose we've got to move on with the times. I, I'm just question. Two questions. I'm wondering why Historic Scotland weren't a consultee before planning. Does a conservation officer answer for them? Um, because the hotel is a listed building. And wondering when the council policy does it for chalets not apply when there's more than four built, there's two affordable. This doesn't apply for Charlie's for letting out, does it? No. But definitely historic Scotland, would they not have a say on what the architect would look like near a, a listed building? Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Campbell. Any other members wishing to? Councillor Singh. Um, thank you. Um, I, th I, I agree with what uh, Councillor Campbell is saying there. Um, the, um, the first thing I would really want to say is that it's a point in general community council objection. It, the, it has come to us today because it's a community council objection and then when you read the report it's 
it boils the objection down to six words, modern idiom inappropriate to conservation area. Now, I thought the word idiom was a strange word to put in the, in the report, so I thought it must be a word that the Community Council is using. Um, so I, I looked on e-planning and got their letter um, that they sent in. Now, in some t I, I will admit at times I don't always agree with what the Community Councils say about planner um, comments, but um, I really quite was very supportive of, of, of Strathpeffer Community Council today um, in this one. They seem to have a reasoned response. They did say that it takes a page and a half for their comment. Um, to boil down to six words was a bit, I thought was a bit tight, and I wasn't sure what the word idiom meant in this context. Um, they were not objecting to the, the, um, the proposal. Um, they were definitely were happy enough with the manager's house but it was the style of the chalets that, that we're objecting to. Um, from the, the wording of it, they're talking about metal roofing, so I'm assuming that was the objection to the original application. Now, I just wonder when amendments are put in, are these amendments fed back to the Community Council to then make their comments on, and whether the Community Council is happy enough with the, the present application with the, the grass roof and so on. Um, they are, as Councillor Campbell says, very proud of the, the environment of Strathpeffer, and that is the big selling point of Strathpeffer as a, an area, a tourist area. This is its uh, Victorian feel. Um, it's at the back of the hotel, yes, but the ground does rise very steeply. Um, the Google Earth didn't show that slope at all, but sometime, somehow the pictures did. The fact that the um, chalets can be seen from the main road, from the village itself, I feel is a bit of a concern. Um, I would like to see just how much shielding the trees would actually do. We'd have no concept other than being told that there would be shielding of, of the, the chalets. Oh, excuse me. But whether, um, <coughs> whether the, um, um, the we're told that some of the trees will come out and some will not. I think I would like some reassurance that there would be a degree of shielding there. Um, there's almost a conflict with the conservation building in the previous application. There was a great deal went to the, even to the type of windows and to the new building and things. Here we're going totally different way. Um, there doesn't seem to be the consistency there. Um, I really just wanted to be sure that, well, in some ways community councils are, it's not just a Peffer community council, other community councils feel that they're not being listened to when it comes to planning matters. And I think, okay, it's brought, come to us here, but we should have a bit more, in the reports, a bit more um, recognition of the, their input to the matter. Uh, but I would like a little bit of clarification on, on, on the views of the, or the viewing of the chalets.